sitting here with Keith Holden, Killer Creek Harley Davidson general manager, and Sean, the parts manager. Everybody knows Sean, you see him a lot. Everybody knows Keith, you see him a lot. And we're sitting here with Devil. Okay, so this conversation started with Devil and I talking about selling customs. Devil sells a lot of customs, right? So, so then the question came up from our marketing person, what exactly is a custom? So he is going to explain to us, generally, when somebody says, oh, I want a custom, they can either get... We go from mild to wild. We can do everything from slip-on pipes to full customization, custom paint, custom wheels, stage four motors. We are known for horsepower. We're the home of horsepower here in Atlanta. Uh, or anything in between. I mean, we can make the bike of your dreams with just a little little imagination, a little blood, sweat, and tears, and a little bit of money. So, Sean, yeah. um, talk to us just a little bit about, about parts. I mean, is, it, is this a just a, a, a stock kit you, you're, you're putting together and throwing on these bikes, or how do you it, do it? It can be. It really just depends on the individual and their needs. I mean, um, like, like Keith mentioned, we go from mile to wild. You know, you, you want to do a little cam upgrade, do a, you know, stage one or stage two, something like that. Get you a little bit more horsepower, get you a little bit uh, faster down the road. What, that, we can do that, you know. Um, but we build them extremely wild, too. We've just done recently um, one that has gotten 166 horsepower and 167 foot-pounds of torque. You know, I mean, we can we can get you up there. And that's all naturally aspirated. That's no, that's no extra help from a turbo or... Uh, supercharger or anything like that so motor wise parts wise uh, we've got you covered we can do anything you really, really want to do so so Keith tell me a little bit about the process when a customer comes in I, I'm assuming a, a pre-owned customer or a new customer is going to do custom work or wants to do custom work um, do you ever put anything together before it even goes um, before a customer um, purchases it. Yeah, yeah, we do, uh, we do floor builds and we do everything, like I was telling you, from mild to wild, we can do a... Uh, so what's a simple floor build? Um, just give me an example of... Simple of floor build could be bars, uh, exhaust, maybe a change of seat, something like that, mm -hmm. uh, just to, uh, you know, get the rider's comfort, performance uh, better than stock. And uh, we, we've got a couple of packages that we, we do quite often and uh, been very successful with those. And uh, we can start from there. And then, like I said, we can go as wild as you want to go. So if I want to start with one of those packages and, 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 you know, get maybe, I don't know what the word for it is, a mini build or a baby yeah. build or whatever. Um, and then, you know, while the bike's apart on the lift, if I want to step it up a little bit, I can step it up Absolutely. a little bit. Okay. Absolutely. So, so Sean. I know in, in Harley parlance, you know, they talk about the stage kits. Could you just yep. give, give us a little brief on, on what the stage kits are and what you need to complete a stage kit as far as other parts? Yeah, really, uh, like, like he said, let's start with stage one, which is really kind of, um, it, it's your, your basic kit. You're going to get more sound out of it. You're going to get a little bit more power out of it, but uh, it's basically stage one. It's exhaust, intake, and a tank. You know, we're not going to go into the motor for anything uh, on that, so that would be stage one. Stage two um, is going to be a really good bang for your buck. Um, you're going to do camshafts at this point. So when you go in into your camshaft, obviously your camshaft uh, determines, you know, what um, what RPM range your your power your motor is making power in. So um, with your camshaft in there, your exhaust put on, your intake manifold, and then we're going to tune it. Uh, that's going to be a really nice jump in power for you. I mean, tremendous. Stage three, you want to start going up further than that. We're going to start looking at intake manifolds. We're going to start looking at um, you know, throttle bodies, uh, injectors, uh, along with everything uh, below in your in your camshaft and into the exhaust and whatnot. And then we go up into stage four, which is going to be displacement. We're going to change um, the bore size. We're going to take you. For instance, from 114 cubic inches all the way up to 131 cubic inches, and include everything that I've listed before. And that's if you're a performance guy, if you're really into, into performance, then that's probably the direction we're going to take you, and you will not be disappointed. Great, thanks. 
Hey Keith, just for clarification for the for the guys that like the numbers, uh, some of the bikes you built, what kind of what kind of uh, uh, metrics are you getting out of them in the dyno? Uh, we're getting stage two, which is a cam and exhaust. Uh, we're getting in the 130s, uh, one, 130 to 140. Uh, if you go with a 117, same build, stage two, uh, cam, exhaust, we're getting in the, uh, uh, one, up into the 140s, some of the numbers. And like Sean just said, we just did a 131 that was in the mid 160s on both horsepower and torque. And we're consistently with the 131s and the uh, and the 150s, you know, uh, daily. But we can we can design a package for you, and if you want to go fast, we can make you go fast. Great. Let, well, let me let me elaborate on that a little bit. You know, whenever we're talking about horsepower and things like that, and doing these builds, you want it you want it to be reliable, and we build a ton of reliable daily riders that people ride every single day um, put thousands of miles on these things and um, they're solid as a rock so um, you have to keep that in mind you know when you're building these things you got to build them right you got to tune them right uh, for that reliability so yeah and I guess you got to keep them tuned right absolutely yeah I yeah. mean we, we do all the service here we we maintain them we take care of them I mean all day long it's it's what we do yeah well I know that uh, you guys are <laughs> been uh, doing a lot of the the custom work um, just give me an idea of your capabilities how many of your techs um, can can dyno to we have uh, five four out of the five techs are uh, dyno tuners uh, they all have been to school and have experience tuning so uh, I'd say we have the most tuners in in the state I guess that's part of why you got a good rep there's a lot of collaboration on on hot rods in this absolutely in this house, so Okay, well, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time, you guys. Thank you very much, Sean. You're very welcome. It.